Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you convert an AC voltmeter into a DC voltmeter. So this is the brand of the voltmeter. And that's how it looks like. So this is an AC voltmeter. So, which means that this one is rated to measure the mains voltage. So, to test this, we need to wire it up to, to the mains. So, turning on in 3, 2, 1. And there you have it. So, apparently it works fine. So, it's somewhat accurate. So now I take this out of its case. So that's how it looks like. So I have reverse engineered the schematic of it, even though it's not the full schematic of it, but at least the schematic that I drawn out is essential for the design. When it's come to the AC, the high voltage AC to high voltage DC multi uh, voltmeter conversion. So. In particular, what's the most important part of the schematic is this voltage divider over here. So as you can see that the full 240 volts comes in through this 2 mega ohm SMD resistor, which is around just below this capacitor. Then it then current will flow through this 5.6 kilo ohm resistor and down to the trim port to actually calibrate the voltmeter. And of course, this point over here will be directed to the microcontroller to read the input voltage and register the input voltage on the display. So this part over here is actually the DC power supply, the AC to DC conversion, which will then be used to power up the microcontroller chip over here. But however, the markings on the chip is being erased away. So that will so you will need to supply a voltage of five volts because I have done the measurement already. I have done the measurement of the voltage across the zener diode which will determine how much voltage will be used to power the microcontroller. So because I don't want to power the microcontroller through the mains voltage so I can eliminate in fact most of the components over here like for example I can eliminate this capacitor maybe this whole thing this resistor and maybe even this diode this zener diode and replace it with a 
voltage regulator so that I can use low voltage DC to power up the display of the voltmeter and this voltage divider will be <coughs> we'll go into details into it the purpose of this big capacitor here is to drop the voltage down to a lower voltage by making use of its capacitive reactants and this resistor over here is for inrush current limitation all right so this is the 2 mega ohm resistor and that resistor is a discharging resistor for the capacitor over here which is not included in the schematic that I drawn Okay, so now I have came up with this design over here. So as you can see, the only additional components are the 560k and 1 mega ohm resistor. So I've done the modification here already. But and I haven't complete yet. I haven't complete the building yet. So this is the voltage regulator so i won't go into details on how to build a voltage regulator cause there are tons of tutorials on how to build one and also i soldered this wire to bypass the trim port so, so as to show you the display the voltage display and how inaccurate it is at the moment so let's power it up and as you can see it's more or less 9 volts and then let's see what we get here oh we get 13 14 volts as the display so by doing a little bit of math I have figured out that we need an extra one point one mega ohm of resistance over here and that's how I design the new voltage divider now let's try again it should be the reading should be lower and yeah 7 volt and another point to note is that this 5.6k resistor the SMD resistor on board this voltmeter I had to change it to the 4.7k because I tried that using that original 5.6k resistor and it didn't work okay now let's calibrate the meter the so that's on and we have 30 volts so and my voltmeter reading is 12.5 shows the same 30 volts 
So now let's crank up the voltage. To 60 volts. Uh, by the way, this is the boost converter that can, you can actually boost it up, boost its voltage up to 120 volts. Okay, pretty accurate. 46.7, 46 volts here. This is pretty accurate. 60 volts here. Well, going up all the way to 120 volts DC. The response time is not that fast though. Ah, there, there you can see. There's a small bit of inaccuracy. So, 121 volts, 122 volts here. Let's measure the output. Yeah, exactly uh, 120 volts. I think that's accurate enough for me, really. So, hope you enjoy the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And goodbye.